I'm here to give you a tour of the beautiful Royal Princess. This was our balcony room aboard the Royal Princess. It's pretty standard, uh, but I did like how they separated the bedroom from the closet and bathroom area, so it gave you a little more privacy in the morning when you were trying to get ready. They also had a 42-inch flat screen TV with a very wide variety of movies and TV shows in case you wanted to watch something while lying in bed at night. A few neat facts about the Royal Princess is she was just completed in 2013 and christened by Kate Middleton in June. And she is currently the largest ship in Princess's fleet, as well as one of the top 10 largest in the world right now. On the Lido deck, they have two main pools and four hot tubs, two on the upper level and two on the lower level. Uh, they also have a center area with fountains, and uh, they'll set up chairs there during the day for you to lounge in, and then at night do a little fountain music and light show. They also do movies under the stars in this area. They have the largest screen at sea, and while you're out there watching movies, they'll bring around popcorn, pizza, ice cream, and even milk and cookies. This is the Sea Walk. Uh, it's a really great experience. It uh, extends out uh, uh, from the side of the ship, and uh, it's amazing just to walk along it and to feel like you're walking over the water, and it's, it's kind of funny to see the people who hesitate at first. They're a little nervous about walking on it. And on the opposite side from the sea walk you have the sea view bar where you can just come and grab a drink and just have a great view and again you get that awesome experience of being extended over the water like on the sea walk. They also have the adults area which is the retreat pool and bar. It is a really nice area if you want to escape from all the music and the noise of the pool deck. Uh, they just have relaxing, quiet music here, but it does fill up very quickly. So if you want a lounger, you got to get there early because people are reserving them as soon as they wake up in the morning. They do have the cabanas, uh, which can be rented for $80 a day or $40 for a half day. Uh, so that is one way for you to guarantee that you have a place to sit when you come into this area um, and just uh, have a time to relax and get away from everything. Here's one of the fountain shows. Uh, like I said, they do these at night and they do three showings. They're about five minutes long so that if you miss the first one, you can go there about 15 minutes later and there's another one showing. They do four different shows and then the last night they'll show all four of them back to back. On the sports deck, they have foosball and ping pong and shuffleboard, the basics. Uh, they also have the basketball court where you can play tennis as well. It is the largest that I've seen on any uh, cruise ship yet, so it was pretty neat. And they also do Zumba in this area. Uh, it's really popular, and they have a pretty good-sized group that meets there. They also have the practice putting green, so if you're a golf lover like I am, you can get out there and get some practice in while you're on vacation. And this is the aft sun deck. If you just want to catch some rays, but you don't really want to be on the pool deck where everyone else is, you can just come out here with something to drink and a book to read and relax there. There's also the outrigger lounge. It's a really nice, quiet, relaxing place. Um, it usually wasn't very busy and it's an it's right outside of the buffet so you can grab your breakfast in the morning or lunch dinner whatever and come out here and generally pretty easily find a place to sit and enjoy your meal and have a great view this is the piazza area it's actually the largest on the princess ships and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's so open and no matter where you are in the piazza, you really feel like you're still a part of whatever is going on in that area. 
So it is a great place and it's really the center of all of the social activity here. And so you just, everyone feels like they're a part of everything and everyone enjoys that area so much. This also gives you a really great perspective on what I was saying about how no matter where you are in this area, you can still sense what's going on and feel like you're a part of the activities. One of the nights they had uh, this juggler there. He was fantastic, really funny, and everyone was just having a great time with it. It was really enjoyable. Right next to the center of the piazza, they have the International Cafe. It is 24-7. They just have tons of pastries, even panini sandwiches, donuts. So you can come down here anytime and just grab a snack to eat. It's also right next to the coffee bar. So if you want some coffee, you can go there and get that. There's a little seating area that you can have a seat at and just kind of enjoy what's going on in the piazza. Or you can get a cup to go as well. Here's the Vines Wine Bar. You can come here and get a drink and there's plenty of seating there so you can easily find a place to relax with your drink and again it's right next to the, the center of the piazza so that you can see what's going on, enjoy the entertainment that they have at that time and just relax. And right next to that is the Gelato Bar. It's actually, they have a very good variety of flavors. I was very surprised. And you get three pretty good sized scoops for the price. Uh, so it does cost extra, but you're really getting your money's worth with that. And then they also have celebrations, which is a little candy shop. They also have some flowers. So if you're celebrating anything special while you're on your cruise, you can pick something up for your loved one. Just off of the piazza, they have the Internet Cafe. You can go there and it's about 79 cents a minute to use the Internet or you can buy a package. It goes up to 600 minutes for $199 or on the last day you can get 15 minutes for about $8.99. So if you want to check on flights, you can do that real quick. This section is the guest services and shore excursions and also to the right they have Sabatini's which is one of their specialty restaurants. It's their Italian restaurant. It is $25 per person but you would definitely want to re make a reservation for one night on your cruise. Um, it's just a really great experience and you can even get a bottle of olive oil for about $10 to take home with you. They also have the Lotus Spa in this area just off of guest services. And here we have the Enclave. Um, you can uh, spend $199 to be able to have access there for a week, that's per person. Or if you get a spa treatment, you can go there complimentary either before or after your treatment. So that is nice as well. And this is the Crooners Bar. It's a sing-along bar. They have a pianist there at night, and uh, they do a lot of different themes. One of the nights that we went to, they did songs from the movies, and it was just really enjoyable because everyone gets to get in on the experience and sing along with all these great songs that they know and love, and everyone really enjoyed it. So if you want to go to it, you got to get there early so that you can find a seat. There's also the Ocean Terrace Seafood Bar right next to Crooners. It does cost extra, it's just a small surcharge, but if you do like sushi, that's a place that you can go to enjoy some.
Here on the left we have the shop on the ship where you can pick up little things that you may have forgotten for your trip as well as pick out some clothes um, or some souvenirs and then below that is the casino uh, it is the smallest one that that I've seen but still um, sufficient and they also have Alfredo's it is their complimentary Italian restaurant they have pizzas and calzones and ravioli as well as tiramisu for dessert and it's kind of nice to go there because you feel like you're going to the specialty restaurant but at the same time it's not going to cost you any extra it's included already here we have bellinis which overlooks the piazza again so it's a nice place to come and get a drink and then just sit there and enjoy whatever activities are going on there and then there's also the photo and video gallery where you can check out your pictures that have been taken at port and at your dinners those run right around twenty dollars a piece on average this is the symphony dining room it's one of their anytime dining rooms and uh, they also have concerto which is another anytime dining um, you can reserve a time if you decide you want to eat at a certain time or you can go whenever you feel like it uh, they also have the allegro dining it's a gorgeous dining room and that's for the traditional dining um, where you have a set time to eat This is the wheelhouse bar. Um, it's a really great area and at night while people are just kind of lounging there with their drinks they have live music either a band or a pianist or um, a guitarist and then during the day they'll have games hosted in this area if you want to play cards or something like that. And behind the wheelhouse bar they also have the Crown Grill which is their other specialty restaurant. Again it's $25 per person. Um, and you definitely want to make a reservation there, they get very busy. This is the Horizon Court, and there's also the Horizon Bistro. These are the buffets. Um, they actually have quite a few sections to them, so it keeps uh, the amount of people there at one time down, so you don't feel like you're in a long buffet line. You actually can just pop in and out and get what you want, and you don't feel like you're dragging your feet forever trying to get to the food that you want. It flows very well. And just in between the buffets, there's a pastry shop. Uh, they have all kinds of different desserts and cookies, and they even have some gluten-free or sugar-free desserts for anyone who has um, those needs. Uh, and trust me, you will gain some weight off of the pastry shop, <laughs> but it is delicious. On the pool deck, they have Prego Pizzeria, where they make up the fresh pizza, and it is really, really good. It was actually rated uh, the best pizza at sea, and if you want, they'll even deliver a whole pizza to your room for $3, which is a really great deal, and it's definitely worth it. And then here on the opposite side from the pizzeria, they have Trident Grill. Uh, you can get burgers, hot dogs, fries, uh, and they were they were pretty decent. Uh, people really seemed to enjoy it. It was usually pretty pretty busy, and I saw people with their fries all over the pool deck all day long. So everyone really enjoyed the Trident Grill. Princess Live is something that's really unique to this ship, and it is so awesome. Uh, this is where they film the wake-up show, um, as well as they do cooking demonstrations and game shows. Uh, and it, it really gives you 
that experience of being in a live studio audience while they're taping, you know, game shows and things like that. And it is so popular that uh, when you pass by it at night and something's going on, people are packed out the door for that place. And then we also have the Princess Theater. Um, now the Princess Theater on this ship is actually very small and there aren't any tables to rest a drink on or anything. And it fills up very fast. Um, for the song and dance shows, they do three, but for any other like magic shows or comedy, they only do two shows. So you'll wanna get there about a half hour early or you're probably gonna be standing. This is Club Six. It's just one of the lounges on the ship. Uh, you can just go there for drinks and to have a little gathering with some friends and just kind of relax and uh, enjoy some time there. And then we also have the fitness center. Um, they have pretty much every everything that's traditional, the ellipticals, treadmills, weights, and all of that. And uh, they have quite a few of them, so there's a good amount of space. They can have a lot of people in there at one time. And you also get that great view of the ocean while you're exercising. So it is absolutely beautiful and very enjoyable. Thanks for joining us uh, on our tour of the Royal Princess. And don't forget to visit us at cruisefever.net.